So we're standing in my parents' rental unit that is a part of their retirement and helps pay for their current lifestyle now that they both retired and are enjoying life. Funny story is in 1969, this building was built from the ground up and my entire family owned the whole building. I know, but in 2010, they sold it and my family, my side of the family, kept two units in this building. My parents still own them today. So we've owned real estate in our family for over 50 years, probably even a little longer. And that's the true power of real estate is this now will pass on and pass on from my grandparents to my parents, which will eventually pass on to me. And then it will pass on to my children and my brother's children. If my family didn't take the risk of owning real estate, we wouldn't have these two units today that will now cash flow for them several hundreds to thousands of dollars a month. If you don't know about real estate, you definitely should. <laughs> So we just renovated this unit for my parents, put everything right in. Flooring, cabs, countertops, appliances, you name it, we did the whole thing. It hadn't been renovated for about 20 years up until this one. So now it'll be fresh and good to go for another 20. But that helps them get a higher rate of rent. It helps them on their ta taxes because they have expenses that they can write off. And they'll be able to de depreciate this asset because it now passed to them from my grandmother. There's so many benefits to owning real estate. My grandparents started us on the path of generational wealth by owning tiny little two bedroom, 700 square foot units just like this. Because now my grandmother passed it on to my father, who in turn is gonna pass it on to me and my brother. And they talk about cash flow for generations to come. That is why owning real estate is so powerful. There's so many benefits to owning real estate besides just the cash flow. There's appreciation where the property goes up in value and you keep the margin. There's depreciation where you get to write it off on your taxes. There's generational wealth. You actually get to pass that asset down for generations to come. And loan pay downs. If you do have a mortgage on the property, your tenant is actually paying down that debt, not you. Don't sell long-term assets, especially if they're buildings. If you're not gonna go ahead and 1031 into a higher margin deal. My family sold this entire building in 2010. Luckily, they kept a few units within the building, but imagine what that would have done for my family now and for generations to come if they actually kept this cash cow of a building in Hawaii today. I feel like there's a lot to say about delayed gratification and buying real estate and waiting. There, there's a misconception with today's society about, you know, delayed gratification and wanting money fast. But in the end, long-term wealth is a long-term play. You buy real estate and you wait so that your money compounds on top of each other. You don't sell quickly and get that money now. That's not what building wealth does. Selling real estate for that quick cash now is not how you build wealth. Rich people buy real estate and wait. And if they do sell, it's not for cash. If anything, they 1031 it into a larger, more income producing asset. You buy real estate and you wait. That's what the rich people do.